April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Prevent Child Abuse Kentucky is the state's premier nonprofit organization dedicated to stopping abuse and neglect before it starts. And I'm going to talk to the agency's executive director, Jill Seifried, about how they're working to make a difference coming up on Connections this weekend. And so glad to have you, Jill. Thanks, you Annie. do great work all year round, not just in April, Thank but we you. know that's the National Recognition Month of Child Abuse Prevention and Awareness efforts. And tell us what you're doing in Kentucky to help raise awareness about prevention and abuse. We have more than 110 events going on throughout the state. Um, obviously we're not going to be at all 110 but communities from Paducah to Pikeville they will have proclamation signings, run walks, pinwheel plantings, mm -hmm. all sorts of things to get community involvement and get community commitment. Yes, and one of the things we talk about on the on the actual interview is an interesting new way of training folks to recognize how to deal with uh, perpetrators of child abuse. And if you can give us a quick synopsis, we don't want to give too much away, but it's really no. an interesting concept. Well, we're pleased to have uh, Corey Jewell Jensen who has uh, specialized in child sexual abuse for for more than 30 years and she has dealt primarily with offenders so we have partnered with the uh, Association of Children's Advocacy Centers the Attorney General's Office the Child Victims Trust Fund to bring Corey into our state for a series of trainings um, every region of the state um, she will have been in every region of the state and she will be doing a two-day training in Lexington and this is not you tell us during the interview it's not for the faint of heart no. and uh, just just the concept of loan is enough to make chills run up and down your spine but to hear probably the detail that she'll get into what yes. these offenders have shared with her we hope very truthfully about their methods of luring children into these very um, uh, unimaginable situations y yes and 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 we hope that lessons learned will impact uh, in a positive way our, our yeah. children for decades to come. Yeah, well thank you for how you're already impacting our state, Joe. We really appreciate it. We hope you'll tune in this weekend, Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2 and Sunday at 1.30 on KET The Main Channel. And you can watch all the time online at KET.org. We hope you'll join us.